Okay? Okay. This next lady's very funny. Uh, she has traveled all the way from Northville to make you people laugh. So please welcome to the stage Patricia O'Callaghan. My name is Patricia, and I am middle aged, and I'm hanging on to that, even though if you do the math, it means I'm going to live to be 116. <laughs> That's pretty old. What I'm worried about, though, is next year when I'm going to have to live to be 118. I mean, what are the odds of that? It's hard to get old. Things happen to your body. Like, your hair starts falling out. I have enough hair in my brush at the end of the month to make a sweater and a scarf. That's the bad news. The good news is last year it saved me a ton of money on Christmas gifts. <laughs> Most of your hair is falling out. Wild chin hairs are just getting started on women. These aren't anything like your real hairs. They're thick, white, twisted random and the landscape of hairs on your body these are the weeds and you can search for them in the mirror every morning and see nothing but as soon as you go out in public and not a tweezers in sight and no roundup either what age these things get started maybe we can get a little more information what's your name ma'am Rachel, hi Rachel. Rachel, can I ask how old you are? 30. Okay, well Rachel, I don't mean to get too personal, but have you had your first one? I just had one. You have? We're talking about chin hairs here, Rachel. Okay. Who's your handsome friend, Rachel? Joe? Hi Joe. Well, Joe, you know, you could help Rachel out by periodically checking out her chin <laughs> to see if something wild might have sprouted because it's been my experience that these things are first spotted by someone else. <laughs> and that can be embarrassing. And Rachel, you can return the favor by keeping an eye out for something wild that may have sprouted from one of Joe's ears. <laughs> or eyebrows or from his nose, because that's what's in your future, Joe, I'm sorry to say. Well, you know we gain weight as we get older too, right? I blame spandex and stretch jeans. I mean, it used to be when my jeans got a little snug, I knew I had to lose a couple of pounds, but in stretch jeans, you can go up five sizes and not even know it. <laughs> You can now weigh 165 pounds and still be a size four. It's right now, I'm packed into a size negative six. And these pants are made from my own hair. But really, you see some funny stuff out there on people's dating profiles. Like, I wanna know what's up with you men posting pictures of yourselves with the fish you caught. Oh look, there's a fish in a boat. And there's a fish on a hook. There's a fish in a bucket. This isn't the caveman age. If you want to show me you're a good provider, just post a picture of your paycheck. <laughs> Am I right? And if you really want to impress me, attach last year's W-2. <laughs> and every now and then, I just feel like taking a walk on the wild side. Lucky for me, Craigslist still has free personal ads. It's like fishing in the shark-infested waters of online dating. Although fishing in a swamp is probably more accurate. You know, you tend to reel in a lot of junk on Craigslist. Pun intended. But it's never a total waste of time. I always get some responses from younger men looking for an older woman. Those numbers go straight into my cell phone. <laughs> and when I'm done looking at the personal ads, I click on for sale, and then clothing, and then I post a couple of um, pictures for my human hair sweaters, because those things are selling as fast as I can make them. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Patricia O'Callaghan, you've been a great audience. Great, keep it going, Patricia. Come on.